Well, the pandemic has disrupted supply chains and production of many things across the world, causing shortages of everything from new cars to ketchup. Restaurants already hit hard by COVID restrictions are now seeing increases in food prices that are causing many to alter their menu. National chains like Starbucks and Taco Bell have been hit with supply shortages this summer. At Starbucks, items like pastries, syrups, iced coffee, and cups were unavailable. Starbucks says they vary from market to market. A Taco Bell spokesperson says national transportation delays have hit the company hard, leading to shortages. Local businesses are also feeling the crunch. Food costs have gone up for everyone, and this is a major and even a structural supply chain issue because this cost increase is falling on the restaurant. Many restaurants we spoke to prefer not to go on camera, but tell us they will have to increase prices or make changes to what they can offer customers. The Hawaii Restaurant Association says some restaurants have already started removing items from their menu. At Giovanni Pastrami, while we still have our full menu offering, we are having to conserve certain ingredients more than we normally would. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, food prices are up 4.2% since last year. Tanaka says that's making recovery for restaurants much more difficult. Just like the labor shortage is pushing up wages, food costs are also going up. Right? So these two critical drivers to operate are making it harder for restaurants to really do well despite the large increase in daily covers. Tanaka says many of his staff bought one-way tickets to the mainland since the pandemic started, but he expects to receive more job applications in September. That's when federal pandemic unemployment programs come to an end, including the weekly $300 plus up. He's also optimistic about inflation. U.S. inflation spiked in June by the most in 13 years, showing just how much spending is outpacing supply, and that's driving up food costs. As, you know, as we start to see that supply chain um, temper, we, we do expect that food costs are going to come back down. Now, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell says that while inflation is well above target, he expects it to ease later this year.